Hey guys, it's Royal Schoen. Installing a hitch on your Nissan Sentra can take you to some really cool places like camping and biking or towing a U-Haul trailer. Let's take a look at the installation process. You'll need the tools seen here to complete this installation. Starting on the driver's side, we're going to use these two holes to attach our hitch. However, the block is too big for our holes. Using the step in, we're just going to go nice and slow to enlarge that hole. Our bolt kit comes with three carriage bolts. On the driver's side, we're going to use the two smaller ones. We're going to be using a fish wire technique to bring those into place. First, we're going to take our coiled end of the fish wire and bring it through the front hole. And bring it out through our drilled hole. Then we're going to attach our bolt to the coiled end. And then we're going to thread our bolt and our block back through the drilled hole. Our next step is to reverse fish wire, meaning attaching the bolt to the cord, putting our bolt in first, and then the block. Back on the passenger side, we're going to place our larger carriage bolt through the tow hook like so. On the passenger side, we're also going to use these two holes to attach our hitch. Now we're going to line up the hitch with our vehicle using U-Haul's exclusive hitch jack. When bringing the hitch in place, we're going to angle it over the exhaust and line it up with the two holes on the driver's side. With the hitch lined up, we're now going to take our fish wire and thread it through the holes on the hitch so we don't push these bolts back into the frame. So now we're just going to raise our hitch up and flush with the tow loop. Our next step is to take our two hex bolts and flat washers and place them in the holes on the rear of the vehicle. This area back here is a little bit tight when trying to get our bolts into place, so I do recommend removing the push pins located on the passenger and the driver's side. So with our bolt through the hole, we're now going to take our flange nut and just tighten it on. And we're just going to repeat with the other bolt. Now we're going to place our flange nut and screw it onto the bolt on the tow loop. On the driver's side, we're just going to remove our fish wire and attach our flange nuts. We'll repeat with the other bolt. Now we're going to tighten and torque our carriage bolts to the vehicle manufacturer specifications using a 19 millimeter socket. The tow hook bolt is slightly angled towards the hitch, so you have to force the 19 millimeter socket onto the bolt. Now we're going to tighten and torque our hex bolts using a 916 socket and a wrench. Make sure you're using the wrench to hold onto the hex bolt while you tighten. With our hitch installed, let's go over some important measurements. This is an inch and a quarter receiver hitch. From the pinhole to the edge of the bumper is four and a half inches. From the ground to the top of the receiver is 10 inches. This will help you determine the length, rise, and drop for your hitch accessories, such as a bike rack or cargo carrier. Okay guys, this wraps up our install. Enjoy the outdoors, and I'll see you out there. If you have any questions about this product, or if you'd like to schedule an installation with a U-Haul Hitch Professional, visit your closest U-Haul Hitch Center, or visit us at uhaulhitches.com.